Three, two, one. Hello, this is a uh, this is a speed draw where you will watch me drawing in five times the speed of which I am drawing it. Uh, this drawing took me about an hour, so if you want to follow along, or you know, if you're that kind of person, uh, you can do that if you have an hour. So uh, let's get started. So as you can see here, I am going to draw the squad cast. Here I am drawing myself, holding a pencil, despite the fact that I'm right-handed. I'll draw it on the left for, because it looks better. Um, so here's Lackadaisical. And as you can see, it's very, it's fairly rough, but still to the point. It's not too sketchy, but you know, it, it's not perfect either. I'm looking up a Minecraft sword because I don't know how to draw a Minecraft sword. Um, but it ended up being a bit too complicated, so you'll see myself deleting it later. Because, yeah, yeah this, this, this wasn't a good idea. It, it was too complicated, and drawing every pixel, it, it didn't look good. Yeah, look at that. It looks, looks like corn. Really weird corn. But yeah, so then I continue on drawing. Yeah, there's my little face. And I noticed, yeah, you have to zoom out to look if the proportions are correct. My head was too small compared to lackadaisicals, so. And then up next I draw Wittershins. Well, there wasn't really anything wrong with Wittershins, actually. He's a perfect man. Um, yeah, and then so I continue drawing the rest of lackadaisical, and I move on to the Duke. The Duke is probably the easiest one to draw, like average character, nothing really fancy, and with a little crown. And then there's Phantom, newest uh, member of the squad cast. Uh, yeah, he always has his hands in his pockets, and he's always wearing a hoodie, like even in real life. Um, and then there's uh, Unnamed Child. Unnamed Child never actually had like a distinct character design. He's I he's like changed. He's had like a different character design every frame I draw him in, so yeah. Uh this uh you might be wondering who this person is. This is our next special guest in I believe episode eight. I replaced him with an origami uh heron. But um so yeah, uh this is our next special guest. Uh, his, uh, I don't think we decided on a name yet, so you can look forward to that. So yeah, you can see here that I redrew the, uh, the sword to my liking. <clears throat> yeah, um, important part, an important part of drawing is to make sure that the background is a color that is different from the foreground, so that you can see the color white when you draw it. Uh, I was going to make uh, the piece colored with like, yeah, the, the, yeah, with colors, that's what it means. Um, but it didn't, I didn't really feel like it was necessary, and I also thought it looked kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, you can see here how I draw with color. Um, I can... Uh, if you guys want to see another speed draw, I can do one in color if you want to see how, in, uh, see a more detailed explanation of how that works. So yeah, um, well, yeah, so you, you can see here, I don't choose exactly gray, I always make it, um, leaning slightly towards the red side of the color scheme. Uh, yeah, here I'm coloring everything in. Um, I'm not a really big coloring person. I've never really liked coloring things in. Uh, I never really liked coloring books, so... Yeah, like in, like, camps and things like that, whenever they hand out, like, coloring sheets, I always just turn them around and doodle on them. It just kind of defeats the purpose of having a coloring page in the first place, but, you know. See, I'm just doing all the outlines so that later I can go with a giant brush and get it over with. Right about here. Yep. Just filling everything in. 
This is the part that probably takes the longest. Uh, uh that might be a lie. No, that might be a lie. Never mind. The drawing the line, the, ske the li sketchy part is probably the longest. And then into the shading part. Uh, for shading, uh, I like using color dodge and color burn. Well, no, not usually. For colors, for colored pieces, I don't use. I don't really use color dodge and color burn that often. But uh, for this part, for this specific piece, I I did. Um, I use the same brush. Uh, I don't know what brush it is, and I don't exactly know where I got the brush. But it's a good brush. It gives this like sort of like painting style to it. This painting look. Really like it. I used a lot. You can see I put unnamed child a little bit more in the shadows because he is a mysterious figure. You can see that it looks kind of weird right now, but, um, well, at least in my opinion, it definitely looks a lot better uh, later once the piece is finished. Uh, this is the easiest part. I'm basically just drawing a sphere for uh, the Duke. It's pretty funny. So yeah, just making sure that I know where the light source is. This is a bit of a problem with this piece. I didn't really plan a light source. I'm just sort of shading things in as I go. And as I was drawing this, I didn't know whether it would turn out good or bad or anything. So just kind of went with it. Hope for the best. So this is all using color dodge on Photoshop. And then I believe I move on to color burn at some sort waiting. And then here, oh wait, oh yeah. Um, I wanna make like the top part a little lighter just for, it just looks better. And then color burn to more emphasize the highlights, work more on the shadows. Yeah, um, uh, Widdershin's hair is mysterious. And then here I go on to the details, like the eyes, some of the... Uh, yeah, I can always go back and shade in the parts that I missed. But yeah, so I used black, I used black to um, do some of the highlights, because without them it looks really weird. Um, in my opinion, now that I look at back at this, um, I did a bit uh, too much with the outlines. Uh, too many outlines, but, um, yeah, but it, it's fine. It still looks fine. Uh, this, this is actually, like, the first time I did a, the recorded a speed draw on Berrycast. Yeah, I can't, couldn't find anything better, but, uh, yeah, uh, I thought that I lost this file, so I went to uh, draw another piece for another speed draw, and then lost that file. So, but then I gained this file, so uh, I can show you the second piece in a bit. It's better in my opinion, but who knows? There's Wershins with his flying paper swan. Yeah, but I think I said Heron back there. It's a, it's a paper swan. My mistake. There's Phantom with his derpy face. And then moving on to the Duke. I don't really have an order in which I draw things. Just kind of go where I think I want to go. As long as I get the entire thing done. Also, it's important that, like, throughout your drawing, you kind of zoom back to take a look at how it looks overall, and then edit it from there. Yeah, I, I, th I, th I, I think I did a bit of too much, a bit too much with the outlining, but that's just me. And then moving on to the background, I used gradients, like uh, the circular gradients, I don't know what you call it. Oh yeah, I'm just refining it right now. And then I move on to the background. I'm kind of just searching around for a good place. It's important for the background to make the uh, the foreground stick out. I use the same colors uh, for the background, just darker. And uh, well, as long as you can see your characters, it's fine. 
Here I'm using a cloud brush for a little bit of atmosphere. I, yeah, I tried shading the clouds and then uh, changing the opacity, that didn't work. And also I used a different brush, the soft cloud. I put it behind them, which um, I didn't do for my second piece, but you'll see how that turned out. And now I'm trying to look for a brush that helps me with the dust. The dust is probably the most fun part of the piece. You just get kind of get it scattered around and then uh, like mess with the opacity. Maybe do a bit of racing, see how it turns out. And it turns out really well if, um, for the most part. And you use different brushes for the uh, dust. The dust, uh, I think I toned down a little bit too much. So you'll see more dust particles flying around in the second piece. And then uh, next, I believe we are going to go with the blur. Yes, um, I like. I just felt like blurring this piece felt right. Um, I don't know. Just added a bit more to the scene. I didn't want to blur it too much, but I wanted the main focus on the three, the original trio, and slightly burn, uh, not burn, blur everyone else. So here's the finished piece, the finished piece, oh my gosh, um, yeah, here it is, look at it go, and yeah, uh, here's my second piece, as you can see, uh, massive improvements on uh, the glow, the dust particles, the clouds and everything, uh, a few more characters you can see there, you got uh, guest one, two, three, four, um, Mr. Flamingo, and uh, Satan from the podcast spinoff. Uh, yeah, this is it. Um, if you want to see another speed draw, uh, you can comment below. Or if you don't want to see another speed draw, um, be quiet. It hurts my feelings. Uh, so yeah.